You should go over there right now. Trekking with Selena. Oh my God, do you watch me? You should totally watch me. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> well, this is our test run. We just got the truck out of the shop at Freightliner in Las Vegas. Ooh, ooh. What, what? Two weeks later. Two weeks later, yeah. And $5,300 later. <laughs> so we're just jamming over here to hop on the freeway and go for a, I want to take it out for like 20 miles and just make sure everything's cool with it. Got the clutch redone full service on it radiator blown out flush thermostats replaced sensors replaced fuel meter replaced the fuel uh, quality control valve or whatever replaced so you can if anybody can hear it right now the idle is super smooth now yeah where it was surging before you know I had like a sputter in the throttle so that's all been taken care of Hopefully when we get loaded and start doing runs again, we see some better fuel mileage. Yeah. Had a top end done on it, all the valves adjusted, everything like that too. Yeah, the whole truck, it just sounds better outside. Sounds too. better, it's running better, smooth. I mean, we've gone over six months without any major service on it, so... It was due. It was well overdue, because you know, when we got the truck, it was just about a half a million miles. Clutch was shot and smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Sound, sounds the way it's supposed to. You know? Sounds like a new truck. Sounds like a new truck. <laughs> Plus, it got the speed turned up to 80. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's we'll see if it, we'll see see if it, it actually it. does it. Yeah. Because we tried to get it adjusted before and they didn't do it. Oh, oh. Here it goes. Oh, yay. 80 mile an hour right there. Yep, 80. Up to max. It's supposed to be 
should be at 75. Yeah, and our yeah. speedometer is off. Well, a tiny bit. Yeah. But yeah, it's 75. Yeah. Yep, yeah, looks good. Sweet. Woohoo! <laughs> Finally. Yeah. So, $5,300 later, here we are. Right? Space again. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Go ahead, feel free to lean in. <laughs> we didn't get our windshields replaced though. We requested that because we got a couple of big old bullet holes in the windows from rocks and then we got a crack coming down on the passenger side. Figure we get the glass done while we're at it, but they didn't do that. I've had the damn thing for two weeks. I'm not taking it back. Yeah, and we already ended up having to get two more loads canceled because we got mixed uh, information yesterday. Oh, yeah. Well, when I went in there, yeah. the guy was saying, he's like, is your truck ready? Did you get a phone call? And I'm like, yeah, he sent me an email saying it was ready. He's like, I have no record of it or something like that. They didn't even have the work order totally written up. That's what took so long to be at the cash booth. <laughs> They had to track down everything about the truck. And I'm like, what the hell, man? Right, yeah. Get like, it together, Brett. You only do one thing here. It's like, come on, honey. Yeah. <laughs> you work on trucks. <laughs> nice desert view. Yeah. <laughs> nice view of crappy desert. Uh, truck feels like it's running smooth, though. Like, so I'm going to get out and put a few miles into it, though, just to make sure. Yeah. Landstar logs this morning because they took it out for their test drive this morning apparently and we're not logged into the Qualcomm so they want to know what all this illegal movement is. I was called up, that's eh, a test drive, it's in the shop. Oh, okay. No problem. Go ahead and get around this home boy. Yeah, 80 mile an hour, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Stuff that you don't need anymore, and I'm, I like traveling light. 
I hate keeping a lot of stuff. I like having an empty house. I like having lots of space around me. Yeah. So yeah, only now does the house feel like it's getting comfortable again. Yeah, there's like nothing in it. Yeah, but... nothing in it. I finally feel like, woo! <laughs> Alright, good times. Yep, good times. Truck's running good. Like I said, I'm gonna bust out here for a few miles. I guess anything pops up, I'll go over the, I guess we can go over the invoice here in a minute. Yeah. Thumb through the invoice and show sure everything that got done. Yeah, yeah, well, I guess after our test drive, yeah. quiets down a little bit. Yeah, total bill was 5,255 bucks. Cash. Uh -huh. Good ride off though. That'll help out a little bit. Yeah, we still have a Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, be a good ride off. Yeah, we still need more stuff done too. Still gotta get more stuff done. We need to do the brakes, the windshield. We gotta get the three more. Three more tires. Three more drag tires. Want to replace these super singles before winter? Yeah. But it's good. It's yeah. good. I guess that's really all that's left to do. Yeah. Just basic stuff that wears out, you know. Just gotta keep a place, on, especially the miles we run. Yeah. Want to stay on top of it, not nickel and dime it too much, you know. Just if it needs it, get it. Because the money we put out on stuff, by you know, you know like don't want to put out money on all new tires and stuff. But for us, it makes a huge difference because allows us to keep running so yeah. yeah I guess the only disadvantage to this run is that we end up with a big laundry list of crap we got to get it done because we don't have time to to do it as it needs to be done well going six months without any major work and put in damn near 130,000 miles now uh, I guess we're doing pretty we're, good yeah we're over we did a year's worth of miles in five months so Stuff's gonna break. Yeah. We've been beating the hell out of this truck too, so. Yeah, we got fortunate. We got a good truck. Yep. It ran well enough for us to get up our slush fund. And... Yeah, while this still hurts, I mean, we started out the week with what, 50 grand in the bank. Yeah. Now we're edging down to 40 grand in the bank between all the expenses of the move, over 5,000 put out on this, and then we're giving money to the kids yeah all kinds of stuff you know that while we're home a lot of money goes out we know it so yeah and then all the lost revenue like and then, yeah we've two lost and a half weeks of revenue twenty five thousand dollars plus just in revenue from not being on the road it sucks but as soon as we get back working next week we'll make it right back up i'm not worried about it yeah like it hurts but if it's money you didn't make in the first place then i guess it don't hurt that bad Still working. 
we'll be back at Speed Co. before we know it and get it all done again. So. Oh, yeah. So, all right. I guess we'll end it on that. Yep. Cool. Cool. Yeah, so here's the invoice. Let's see here. Temp sensor seal rang. For what? Oh, that was the engine code, or the, we had the engine light on, 172 there, what was this for the PM, 391 for the PM, come on, dang it, what else we got going on, huh, 788, what was that for, CA cell, what the hell, Oil separator, POS, piece of shit sensor, connector, and seals. Yeah, that had to do with the engine the light code. still, I think. Yeah. And then, come on, Paige. God damn it. Man. Let's see what else. And request tune up. Yeah, there's the top end. 497 for the top end up there. Yeah, what was this one? Clutch, all the clutch components and stuff they did. 1091 for that because they had to put a new master cylinder in there too. Uh, fuel meter, yeah. 11, 1133 for the fuel thing. Thermostat, core seal, T core, 601. God dang. So, go back to the thing here though, you can see. Right there, uh, 2769 in labor in 2009 and goddamn parts. Price of being an owner operator, I guess. I guess individually, each thing wasn't too bad. Yeah, yeah we just, just did everything at once. It was just crazy, though, huh? So. So yeah, that's our our truck repair. Tons of fun. Tons of fun. Need to be done though. Keep us moving. And then kind of funny though. House, you can see emptied out. You can see we got the little AC unit. That's a portable AC unit we had to put in because the AC don't work. And we're sleeping in the front room. And yeah. we got the couch and the bed sitting in here, and that's it. Yeah, you can see everything, like garbage, whatever, nothing left in the house, all the way down the hall, empty. rooms are empty, all done, we're just going to be out here in a couple days, we're just waiting for this couch to go away because her son's coming over to pick it up, that and same thing with the TV, I mean, we're giving the TV to him too, yeah. so I guess we're keeping it in the family, <laughs> right? Might as well, might as well, is that trash? Well, no. I wouldn't have thrown the TV in the trash. We <laughs> would have just kept it otherwise. But. No, I probably would have just got rid of it sitting in that pot. Yeah, I mean, kids wanted it, so cool. Yeah, I mean, TV's four years old. You can buy them for a few hundred bucks now. It's yeah, it's, a, it's a 4K, 55-inch Samsung. But, yeah. It's more than a year old, so it's out of date. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an antique now. Yeah. We already gave them the Xbox and all that, so good stuff. Right. right. So that's about it. This is uh, just about 5,300 bucks in repairs on the truck. House is empty. Just yep. about done. Dumpster's full. Good stuff. Yep. All right. Yep. Exciting video. Super exciting. As has been our two weeks at home. Yeah, two <laughs> week, our two weeks off. Soon to be two and a half weeks off. Yeah. It looks like so. Wow, well, this time next week we'll be in Iowa. Yeah. In Nebraska. Yeah, this time we'll probably be in Nebraska. On Friday afternoon. Nebraska. Yeah, it's a long week. Yeah. So Saturday we'll be heading we we'll be heading to Des Moines this yeah. time next week and then back on Saturday. Cool. I'm just happy to go back and make some money. So. Yeah, I can't wait to get back into the little cave. 
back into the groove. Yeah. yeah. All right. So yep. I guess that's about it. That's about it. Check back in later. Yeah. Right. Yeah. With turquoise and real diamonds. Fuck!